Hi everyone, this is Vipin. In today's session, we will see how you can create your regime project structure using Maven archetypes. So in short, archetype is a Maven project templating toolkit. In simple words, you can say that uh, it provides a toolkit. It's provide a templating solution for your projects. Okay, so if you are going to create any project, then uh, Archetype helps you to create a simple project structure which you can extend uh, based on your business requirements. Okay, so as we understand that uh, Maven is a build and deployment tool which uses a uh, central file which resides on root directory that is POM file uh, which contains all the configurations, dependencies and plugin informations. So before creating any archetype you should be having uh, two things in your mind. The first thing is group ID and second one is artifact ID. So you should be um, ready with these two uh, naming conventions that uh, uh, you are ready to uh, with a group and uh, with an, with your name of your project okay so artifact id uh, basically is a, is a name of your project and group id is uh, a unique identifier which uh, uh, uniquely identify your project into the maven repository okay so for aem there is an uh, maven archetype that is aem dash project dash archetype so this archetype is designed by adobe marketing toolkit Okay, so this uh, type created minimal Adobe Experience Manager project starting point for your own project. So as I said, it will create a template which you can extend further. Okay, so let's see how you can uh, create your uh, AM project structure using this archetype. So, uh, so there are some profiles. Here, so we will discuss these profiles later. So this is my archetype for uh, AM project okay so you can download uh, you can get it from uh, I have given uh, path for uh, the github from where you can uh, get this uh, archetype and all the other information about the previous version of archetypes so the latest version of uh, AM archetype is uh, 12 so which is uh, uh, used to create projects for uh, AM 6.3 or newer versions and uh, as you can see here that if you are having AM version of 6 then uh, you should use the archetype version 10 if you are having 6 or 2 then you can uh, use uh, 11 10 or 9 so these are the compatible AM versions and archetype versions which I have shown here in this table okay so there is one thing uh, if you are having AM 6.3 and you want to utilize uh, latest archetype version like that is uh, 12 then uh, the Maven version should be 3.3.9 on your system so just check uh, uh, on your uh, command prompt or in that whether you are having a correct version of Maven or not. So to check uh, the Maven, just open your command prompt and check what version you are having. So like I'm having version 3.3.9 and also I have set up for AM 6.3. So now what I will be doing, I will be creating a uh, Maven project for AEM archetype. So let's quickly do that. So this is my command. This is my a mark type. I will go. Uh, this is my local repository demo folder. I will be creating uh, my project under this directory. So simply I will paste that command. That is Maven. Then now uh, it gives some information about the archetype which plugin and which is the version of your archetype and uh, what is the uh, catalog okay so now uh, the first thing it will ask you for group ID as I said that you should be ready with some uh, unique group ID so like uh, I am providing one group ID com dot am dot demo okay the second thing is artifact ID that is name of your project now I am giving uh, name of my project is kind demo training something like that then version version can be you can keep 
same which is uh, coming then the package package you can consider uh, the same as the group ID apps folder name so this um, is the name of your uh, apps folder okay where you will be having your all the components your templates your configurations so as uh, I can uh, put it any any name but uh, better if I can uh, maintain the consistency and uh, provide the demo training only the name of my project which I have given as artifact ID okay so it's a best practice to uh, to have the artifact ID and uh, apps folder or content folder the same names okay then artifact name so it's again uh, the name of your project okay so you can keep uh, similar to artifact ID then component group name that under which um, category you want to keep your component in under the sidekick or uh, what would be your component group for all the components so I am keeping it again same configuration folder name again you can put demo training content folder name uh, demo training so this uh, content folder name is basically uh, you can see uh, in your CRX delight that uh, we are having apps content lips so content folder name uh, will be the uh, will be the name of your uh, content uh, where your all the content will store so you can name that um, main root folder so I will keep it as the same in demo training then CSS ID you can also keep demo training then package group so this is the site name which will be appear in your site admin so now I will give something like that demo training okay so now you can review your uh, provided parameters here if you are uh, satisfied then just click on just type yes and press enter so now uh, build has been successfully completed and uh, on your drive you will see that uh, one process one project structure have been created here okay so let's see yep so here uh, just to recap that uh, group ID is uh, basic uh, maven group ID and uh, artifact ID is your is the name of your project and uh, package is basically your Java source package where you can keep your Java or satellites or any uh, Java related files okay so these uh, are the properties which you use to create your archetype in AEM okay so now we'll see that how we can import that project uh, which we have created uh, using maven archetype in Eclipse so it as you can see that it created some default folders okay so default um, it created some sample project with this archetype okay so these are the some uh, some of these folders as you can see here that core core folder or core uh, package will be having all the java codes okay apps module will be having your all the components all the templates configurations content will be having your project sample there will be uh, two pages which will come by default with this em archetype okay and uh, the test folder which will be containing your integrated test okay so you can create uh, your own uh, modules as well so I will show you how you can create more modules suppose uh, uh, you want one more uh, like folder like uh, for your hybrids like code or hybrid so you can create those kind of modules in uh, Eclipse later on so this is a basic setup which has been provided by this archetype okay so now we'll see